Hello everyone, it's literacy time now and the story this week is Farmyard Hullabaloo Farmyard Hullabaloo It's a little bit like Rumble in the Jungle but instead of being based in the jungle it's actually the animals who live on a farm Elephants here Sulking because there are no elephants at the farm but never mind, you'll still enjoy the story Hopefully, boys and girls. Let's have a little look. Farmyard Hullabaloo. Early in the morning, as the sun begins to rise, the pigs are feeling hungry and they're snorting in their styes. The rooster wakes the farm up with a cock a doodle doo. The sheepdog won't stop barking and the cows begin to moo. There's a stomping in the stables and there's bleating in the barn. So let's climb aboard the tractor and explore this noisy farm. Rooster. Cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo! I'm the rocking rooster, baby. Tell me, who are you? Chickens. We chickens are covered with feathers all over our wings and our legs. So, of course, we could fly if we wanted to try. But we're too busy laying these eggs. Sheepdog. I am the farmer's old sheepdog, his faithful and loyal best friend. I've been by his side from the day I was born and I'll stay with him right to the end. Farmyard Cat. Hello, I'm the fat farmyard kitty. I sleep in the shade of the house but I always keep one eye half open to spot every passing plump mouse. Pigs. I love looking after my piglets and watching them wriggle and squeal. They clamber all over each other all day to snuffle around for a meal. Donkey. It's wonderful being a donkey. I simply spent hours and hours just wandering round on the soft grassy ground sniffing the sweet smelling flowers. Turkey. I've got these funny floppy things that hang down from my neck. They dangle when I gobble and they wobble when I peck. Geese. We waddle about in the paddock and make such a din when we talk that we sound like a bunch of old ladies who gossip and cackle and squawk. Sheep. I've got a lovely fluffy fleece which makes me very proud so I skip around my meadow make believing I'm a cloud. Goat. I sometimes hang out by the sheep pen, chortling into my beard. Sheep often think that they're better than us, but goats never need to get sheared. Cart horse. There's nothing like hay when you're hungry. It's lovely to munch a whole bale, but sometimes I stop for a clippity clop or to flick a few flies with my tail. I love to snort steam from my nostrils. It makes me look angry and tough. And then I start scraping my hoof on the ground. If that isn't scary enough. If that isn't scary enough. Fox. I wait in the woods until nightfall. Then down to the farmyard I creep because nothing looks quite as delicious as chickens who've fallen asleep. Owl. I always hunt at night time and I sleep throughout the day. To wait to woo, you'll hear me cry, out searching for my prey. Now it's night time on the farmyard and the moon is shining bright. It's time to leave the animals and wave them all good night. 
the cows are feeling drowsy, so they settle on the ground. It won't be very long now till they're sleeping safe and sound. The horse is in his stable and the hens are in their shed. But the sheepdog's fallen fast asleep inside the farmer's bed. And if you look at the picture there, can you see the farmer's feet in the bed and the little sheepdog next to him? That will be an uncomfortable night's sleep, won't it? Elephant! Elephant! What did you think of the story? You liked it in the end. Okay, have you finished sulking now? Let's look at what our work is for today. This is our work for today. It's farm colour by numbers. You need to start by getting your pens or pencils and making sure you have every colour down here. That's your first job. Then you need to match some numbers. Can you find yellow? Here's my yellow. Now what I'm asked to do is if I see a number one, I need to colour it in yellow. One equals, there's our equal sign there, one equals yellow. So if anything on the picture has a number one on it, it has to be coloured in yellow. Can you see a number one anywhere? Have a look for me. Ah, got it. I can see a number one. Right there. I can't quite see any more number ones there. Okay, let's skip. Next would be number two, but I'm going to go on to four, red. I'm going to find number four next. Here's my red pen. Can you look for a number four please everybody? I can't see one. Aha, the farmer's coat. The farmer's coat is number four. Done. Pick another colour. Oh, I'm going to go for number seven, pink. What is it on our picture that has a number seven on it? There might be one thing, there might be a few things. Ah, you've got it. The pink piggy. Pink. I did look at number two for light blue and I can see that there's a two in the sky. But that's lots of colouring and sometimes my hands really, really ache. So I might come back to that bit later. Let's have a look. Oh, I can see six on the tree, six on the cow, six on the horse's hooves. So I know that six is brown. That's how I'm going to help myself for clues. Okay, I'm going to leave you to finish the rest of that yourselves. I know you can do that because you're good at your numbers. Even though this is literacy and not maths, I know that your use of numbers will help you with this one. It's a nice activity to ease us into the week. Good luck with that. Let's go and say goodbye to Elephant. See you soon for maths, everybody.